Okay, so we have a question from Ray. Have not done swings for quite some time, but would like to start up again. <laughs> Pretty simple. Pick up a bell, swing it. I like the fact they work for power, and I like the hard style swing, which of course is what I believe in. In the past, to get power, I, I went too heavy for power, I believe. Anyway, thoughts on sets and reps, and how does one figure out percents? You don't figure out percents. I don't think you can figure out percents with uh, elite athletes who compete in powerlifting and Olympic lifting. Percents, man, uh, it takes a lot of time with the bar in Olympic lifting and powerlifting to figure out what your perceived exertion is for a 90%. Uh, when I first started Olympic lifting, you know, snatching like 200 pounds, you know, 180, I could do it. I could do it probably all afternoon. Uh, 190, I probably could have gotten a triple. A couple years later, I'm snatching 300. Well, 270 is a little different. They're both 90%, 180 and 270, both 90, but they're different worlds. So that's always tough. Uh, but let's continue. Though I did reps of just five as often as I believe research leans to keeping reps low for power. Is this the same for swings? I, I would only say, Ray, the only thing I can say in my experience, we have found that 10 is better. Now, remember that the swing is such a simple movement that a set of 10, boy, you know, a, a set of 10 heavy in the back squat might take you, well, I don't know, uh, it'll, it'll take a while. You know, your spotters will get bored, you know, they'll start checking checking their Instagram account or whatever, you know. Uh, but a set of 10 swings is like, boom. I mean, let's, 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 let's go through it mentally. Okay, set, go, boom. According to my internal clock, and I'm wired like a Vulcan, that was less than 10 seconds. Um, so, you know, even a set of 20 or 15 is still a very short, compact amount of time. Now, if you do a set of five, you're probably going to have a poor rep or two. If you're going to do a set of 10, you'll probably still have a poor rep or two, but you'll notice those last five. Well, generally, you don't, it takes most people a few reps to clean up their technique in the swing. Little things that lock out, especially usually the, the, the hike past the legs between the thigh, the hands between the thighs. Um, those tend to be a little, uh, it takes a, a few reps. So the upside of going just a little bit more reps, Ray, uh, is that your crappy reps will, won't be nearly as important. Uh, I like your mind. If you've ever done a set of 10 with the 48 kilo, the beast, it is really eye-opening. We do it in one of our workouts. We take all 26 kettlebells and we put them out randomly in a row and do a set of 10 kettlebells at each. Now, if we drop one out, by the time you get through that once, that's 250 swings. That's a good workout. And I always put next to the 48K uh, a big drop down, like uh, a 10. Uh, so you, you do the 48 and then you drop down to the 10. And when you start whipping that, then you understand finally why swings can work so well to to build up your power because those sets with 10 with that light weight is freakishly explosive i hope it helps uh remember ray i don't necessarily believe in percents with anything and kettlebells are even worse so i like your idea but just double the reps up to 10 and get back to me and see what you think